Today, I'm going to be combining three of my favorite things, The Legend of Zelda, Crochet, and Cake to create my greatest cake jewelry box ever. My name is Lynn and I love to create cute, unique things with crochet. I have a love-hate relationship with the Koroks because I think they're cute but solving 800 puzzles to get a Korok shape, I mean seed, is too much. And when Tears of the Kingdom came out, just like everyone else, I channeled my inner rage by tormenting the Koroks. Anyways, today's project will be an adorable one. After acquiring a suitable jewelry box as a base, I started making the base of the cake using green yarn and darker green for the cream and details. As for the coral, I actually started making it last year and I somehow abandoned it in my unfortunate work in progress pile. But I now have a coral and I just need to add the mask details. And to do that, I'm using needle felt. And apparently, in order to make an adorable coral, I have to torment it first, just like in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> and here is our cute little coral. <laughs> One of the most notable signs that there is a coral nearby is the little pinwheel. So, of course, my ambitious self envisioned the coral holding a tiny little working pinwheel. So, I'll be making one using felt, beads, jewelry findings and a toothpick. Starting off with a square piece of felt, I cut at each corner so that I can fold the corners into the middle to create the pinwheel shape. I then sewed each piece down using white thread. Once that's done, I painted it using watercolour in orange and red. Now I'm poking a hole in the middle and inserting my jewelry finding and bead and then with my pliers I created a loop on the back. I then put it on a toothpick and secured it with a bead and glue. And now to test it out. And it works! So I was thinking, how else can I make this cake cute and Zelda themed? Mushrooms! <laughs> There's about 15 different mushrooms in the game and I want to have a colourful variety so I'm choosing these 6. Recently, I tried making tiny needle felted mushrooms and it was such a pain. So this is gonna be a real challenge with all the different colours and tiny details. I started by making the simpler ones first. The stamella shroom is pretty easy because it's just green with light green stem. Repeating the same thing for endura shroom but with orange, a bit of yellow and purple. The helion shroom looks just like a normal mushroom so it's not too bad. And the sky shroom is a bit similar but the pattern on top looks kind of like a flower, which I did not do. Next, onto the more complex mushrooms. The chill shroom is only one color but there's three in a bunch so I have to make three tiny mushrooms just to make one whole chill shroom. Repeating the same thing for the zap shroom but in yellow. After what felt like forever, multiple steps to my finger and my back almost breaking, here is my collection of tiny Tears of the Kingdom mushrooms. <laughs> Actually, I just realized that the sky shroom and helium shroom is supposed to have another smaller mushroom attached to it. But I can't be bothered, I cannot make another mushroom. I then proceeded to glue the mushrooms onto the cake at various areas. Before doing more decorations, I realized I needed to go gather some materials. Okay, I'm back and now I'm going to glue on these tiny rocks on top. But I'm not going to complete the puzzle just yet. Moving on, I've actually been enjoying adding beaded details onto my crochet cake lately, so I decided to add some beads onto the vines. Now that that's done, it's time for more fun decorations. I got these super cute pinwheel beads and they are perfect so I'm just adding them at random places. And I also have these flowers that resemble the silent princesses. I'm also going to be adding a bunch of other flowers as well.
And lastly, I added a bunch of random beads as this is supposed to be a cake after all and no cake is complete without sprinkles. And now, the cake is done! Oh wait, it's missing the coral. Guess we gotta solve the puzzle! And finally, here is my completed coral cake jewelry box. For my next video, maybe I'll make a coral with a big backpack. Or maybe I'll make a coral that's being tortured. If you want to crochet something cute for yourself, make sure to check out my latest tutorial for caramel purin that I just posted recently. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!